Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for June 2024. So on June 21st, just a day into cancer season, we are going to have a full moon pop off in Capricorn energy. This is taking place at one degree. It will reach its peak potency at 9.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, this is the first part of two back-to-back -back full moon in Capricorns that we will be having. One opens cancer season, the other closes cancer season. And let me just give you a spoiler alert. This first one is illuminating the blockages, the challenges, our attachments to letting certain aspects, people, places, things, projects go that are essentially blocking us from the path that we need to be on. The second part to this particular full moon event taking place at the end of cancer season is going to provide us the clarity. It's going to provide us the acceptance that we are currently resisting at this particular point in time. Because again, many of us face with the truth, face with the facts, but we don't want to believe it. We don't want to do the hard things. We don't want to do the things that need to be done in order for us to clear the path for our damn selves. We will definitely see some energy shifts over the course of this next month to help us kind of get rid of the old, drop that baggage, close the door on the past, and of course, start building towards something more stable, something more healthier, and something more long-term. So of course, this particular full moon is a full illumination of what we have to let go of, especially in our physical realm, seeing as of course, Capricorn energy is the materialistic realm. It is the karmic chapters that we're currently closing as we move through this solstice gateway. And it is also where it is that we have new wants, new needs, new desires, therefore new goals, new projects, new visions, new dreams that we are still kind of confused about. But at this particular juncture, there are very, very intense topics and themes in our face, providing us with challenges, with obstacles. These are the aspects that we must remove before we're going to be illuminated to the clarity to the path, to the direction that we will fully be walking under the second part of this full moon in Capricorn energy. So of course, the sun in Cancer energy now, highlighting the axis of safety, security, and stability between the Cancer and Capricorn energies. The Cancer energy, very focused on the home, on the private life, on the family dynamic, on where it is that we're coming from. Familial matters, emotional realm matters that we are trying to stabilize in. The Capricorn energy is the public part of life, where it is that we have aspirations, goals, visions that we absolutely want to do, absolutely want to pursue. It's where it is that we would like to go from here. So if Cancer energy is where we're coming from, then Capricorn energy is where we want to go. If the Cancer energy is really highlighting the boundaries that are needed in order for us to feel safe and secure and stable in our own emotional realm, then the Capricorn energy is the structures, the foundations that we need to build in order for those boundaries to actually stand tall, supporting us to getting us to where it is that we need to go from here. Saturn rules over this Capricorn energy, the Lord of Karma himself. In Pisces energy, very indicative that we are essentially kind of continuing this collapse, this deconstruction, if you will, of our materialistic realm, of our belief system, of our goals, our dreams, our visions, and kind of seeing where it is that the universe has been hinting at us what it is that we should not be holding on to, that of course the cancer energy desperately has us holding on to because of our fear that something better will not take the place of the things that are no longer encouraging and supporting our highest goal, our highest vision. So with Saturn ruling over this particular moon, event, we are definitely going to have a harsh reality check coming at us. We are frustrated. We are tired of having other people having control over our lives, over our emotions, over the path, over the direction that our lives will be taking, that frustration, that agitation, that inability to see where it is that we need to boss up is pushing us to a breaking point. This at one degree is initiating the very, very beginning part of this deconstruction process that we will be going through over this next month of understanding what is actually important to us, what it is that our ego is attached to, what 
it is that we need to let go of in order to actually set our sights on some futuristic goals that our higher self needs us to pursue. So there are a lot of pros and cons going on under this particular moon event. Of course, we have the Sun and Venus traveling together, Venus and Mercury traveling together in this Cancer energy, and they are both opposing the moon. So we do have to kind of strike a balance here between our heart and our head, realizing that we have this want, need, and desire to continue to desperately hold on to things that are no longer meant for us. Over the next month, we will kind of move into the heart center. We will gain boldness and bravery and courage needed in order to break away from the old, put that chapter behind us and start setting our sights on the new that we want to do, that we want to pursue, that we want to build, that we want to create. So there's definitely a lot going on underneath this particular moon event that will continue for the next month until we reach a completion point of this particular storyline at the end of cancer season. I am going to encourage you to download the cancer season e-guide, flip to this particular event and really capture the topics, the themes that are in your face, that are exhausting you, that are angering you, that are asking for a full release. This is time for us to get down to the nitty gritty to stop whining and complaining about our circumstances and to boss up and actually do something about it. We are going to have to kind of sit with this tension, sit with this conflict for a little bit in order to realize the way out of the certain timelines, the certain storylines that are again potentially draining our energy and sucking the life force energy out of us when we need to start focusing on what is going to inspire excite, renew that soulful spirit that many of us have lost over the last couple of months. So check in your chart where the Capricorn energy rules, what house it's in, whether there are any planetary aspects being kind of triggered and activated under this particular storyline, because this is something that you are going to be fully immersed in for the next month. So of course we have to do our due diligence, get real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves and stop trying to turn a blind eye to the things that have been knocking on our door for attention, for acknowledgement before we fully let them go.